Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Reinventing Yourself series. One day your life will flash before your eyes. Make sure it's worth watching. A life without a vision is like a journey without a destination. Imagine a comfortable journey with a beautiful scenic views, but it takes you to an undesired destination. It's completely useless. Now compare this to a journey with some challenges and hardship along the way but it takes you to your desired destination. It's well worth the effort. Speed is irrelevant if your direction is wrong. Now identifying a clear and meaningful vision is critical towards individual and organization, success and excellence. A life without a clear vision is a life without a direction, a life full of confusion and contradiction. My question to you is, what comes to your mind when you hear this word vision, strategy and purpose. Now it is very important to have a common language so we don't get confused when these terms are used. The term vision had been tossed around by so many people and been used in so many different ways that it has caused more confusion than clarification. For the purpose of the clarity of these videos, I would like to define the vision as the picture of the future that you want to see. And a purpose is why you want to see this picture of the future. Strategy is how this future will be achieved. Now most people only envision one role of their lives. What I mean by that is, for instance, I have multiple roles. I have a role of a father, of a son, of a husband, a brother, and many other roles. I need to have a vision of all of my roles. It's called an ultimate vision. If someone is only focusing on one role of their lives, we will see a successful and highly skilled sportsman with a terrible family life will see a businessman who is successful but at the cost of the family. We'll see a highly successful doctors involved in unethical practices. So that's why we need to combine all those different roles and create a vision from there. During the strategic vision workshop, we go through this vision framework in detail so you can envision your life. Now, a powerful framework is very critical. With a proper and powerful framework, average people can achieve the same results with consistency. Now look around you and look at the companies with a great framework and the companies with a poor framework. You will see examples around you. Companies like Toyota, GE, 3M, they all have superior frameworks, hence they're thriving. Now when it comes to the vision, you will find three types of people. The first type is the one who do not make any plans. They do not use any resources around them. They do not make any strategies. Those people are in ignorance, in jahala. And you will have a second type of people, the one who make plans and visions, but they rely on the resources, on the asbab. It's shirk. And you will find the third type of people who create their visions, make their plans and strategies, and rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is tawakkul. The key difference between the Western framework of vision and the Islamic frame of vision is that in the Western framework of vision, your vision comes first and your vision dictates the different roles you can select. On the other hand, in the Islamic paradigm of a framework, of a vision framework, you will have your ideology, your belief system dictate what roles you have and then you will come up with the vision of all of the roles in your life. To go through the vision building process, your ideology and your belief system will give you a purpose, a purpose of life. Why do you exist? From there, you will come up with the purpose of your vision, why you want to create a vision. And then you will go defining a vision from there. We go through these steps in details in our strategic vision workshops. Stay tuned for more episodes.
In the coming video series, I'll go through some tips and techniques on how to live a productive life and share that with you. So stay tuned.